Right, this review is on the Makita DST221 staple gun and it fires 10mm wide staples ranging from 10mm up to 22mm. So this shows the size difference that it does. I have to excuse the shadow. So Makita make staples for this gun ranging in 10mm 13 millimeters, 16 millimeters, 19 millimeters, and 22 millimeters. So on the front of this, there's a twist cam, which helps support the machine when you're pushing down. That then helps keep the staple gun off the ground slightly, so the staple doesn't actually go all the way to the bottom. If you have it flat on there, and also flat on the back. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel. I've now got over 200 subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, if you could possibly hit the subscribe button, that would be very much appreciated. I've done some footage showing it in use and I'll put that on now. All right, this is an old oak fence post. So it should be quite nice and tough. I've got 22 mil staples in here. And this is the first attempt to see whether it goes in. Yeah, all the way through, 22 mil oak, um, 22 mil staples going into old oak. Now I want to see whether that depth gauge helps putting wire in. So this is without the depth gauge down. That hasn't actually broken the plastic on the wire, so that's quite impressive. So even with pulling it up, it hasn't scored the cable. Now I wouldn't recommend stapling cable um, because you would never want to break the insulation and make the staple become live. Uh, but just this just shows that it will staple without too much aggression, but still manage to punch in. Now that one went askew slightly, um, but overall, That might have been me. No, we're actually going through a double knot there. So it's not like in the oak knots, um, but the normal oak is fine. And then if we try some larger wire, that oh, I can't even pull out that is in there so I managed to get that oh, that one actually broke before it even pulled out of the oak next thing I want to try I've got some um, I think it's mahogany just want to try stapling this to the oak. That is solid the oak using 22 mil staples. So that's the size of the staples that we're using. And I'm not certain if this might split the wood as it's only a small piece. Let's go across the grain. Now that's going mahogany to mahogany. Um, and that's done it perfectly as well. So if you were making up a compost bin, uh, you could actually staple your pieces of wood together. And that is not pulling out. So quite impressive. This is showing the Makita staple gun, which runs on the 18 volt system. 
it does allow you to go up to the five and six amp hour batteries as well, even though it doesn't have a star on the bottom. What I've got to do is staple this uh, plastic mess in to the chicken hut. And it's stapled all of those perfectly flush with the wood but it hasn't actually broken the netting so it's got a very good depth gauge but as you can see here that is the width of the staples and if I bring over the Makisa staples they're a lot wider and the other small disadvantage with the Tacwise is that obviously it's got a cable connected to it so you always have to run it off an extension lead wherever you are whereas the Makita you just pick it up and use it and then put it back again <laughs> 